Hello again, and thanks for joining us on another edition of CMP TV. I'm Fargo McAlinden, news editor for CMP. Today, we're continuing our look at some of the major trends that will impact the mortgage market in 2022 by focusing on the private lending space. It's a sector that many mortgage professionals are expecting to see continued growth in the coming year. But what are some of the things that brokers need to keep top of mind about private lending and what's in store for the year ahead? I'm delighted to welcome a very well-known name in the mortgage industry. Uh, Christine Zhu is president of Money Broker Canada and Ready Capital Mortgage Investment Trust and joins us today to discuss what she thinks could happen in private lending in the year ahead and any other trends to look out for in the mortgage space. Christine, many thanks for joining us today. How are things? Great to be here. Thank you for having me here. It's great to have you here today. Um, so we'll just start off with some of the main things that you're looking out for in private lending in 2022. What do you expect to happen in this space? I think for 2022, is really a year of uncertainty. Uh, people in this space are um, pretty concerned, first of all, the, uh, the market value, because in private lending, um, the most important things for, for the lender is the value of the property. And in the past two years, um, the market in almost every city is uh, increasing so much. So um, the valuation of the property, that's one thing is very important. And also the uh, probably some new changes in the government's, uh, government's uh, interference with the market. We may see the inflation is coming, actually. The inflation is coming. So will the market still grow as fast as previous two years, um, lots of people have doubts. So for people in the private lending space, I think to assess the actual real value of the property and prepare the asset strategy is very important. So that was actually gonna be my next question for you. Uh, with all those factors that you mentioned, do you think that the sector will continue to see growth this year or are we gonna see a little bit of a fallback? The sector will grow. Um, the demand for private lending, I think, is going uh, uh, higher. Uh, higher. The, the reason is the uh, tightening up in the uh, uh, Schedule A lenders' lending policy, and uh, also more people uh, right before was qualified before COVID. For instance, they have a stable job, and nobody thinking about changing jobs. <laughs> right now, such a huge percentage of people are like changing careers, changing jobs, they've become self-employed, or some people will never go back to the workforce, the normal workforce. So those people who were qualified for the standard traditional lending guidelines uh, suddenly become unqualified. So um, those are a huge percentage of a borrower who could come into the uh, private lending space. And Christine, in, in terms of what's happening at your own company, is there anything at Money Broker for the year ahead that you're particularly excited to share? Yes, actually, um, Money Broker, we have a, a sister company called Ready Capital Mortgage Investment Trust. It's a mutual fund trust. We lend exclusively in a, in the private lending space, in a mortgage space. So we see a big growth in the past two years. And um, we are very excited because we we have a lending strategy with our uh, lending partners. We provide uh, borrowers with a very uh, competitive uh, interest rate, like 80% loan to value, something like 5.99, even that never heard of before. And um, to the borrower, we have very uh, provide very flexible uh, uh, solutions to their uh, short-term uh, borrower needs. Um, for our investors, also we give a pretty a pretty stable um, uh, high returns. We give monthly distribution based on our projected return of eight percent. So the investors um, who may before try to get into a, the race market themselves. I think for the very uh, safe way, they probably should wait and see where the market goes. And in the meantime, they can invest with us uh, in the private lending side because their capital is secured based on the, uh, the mortgage. We, we, uh, it's all, dep all, all the capitals are backed up by the mortgages and it's very flexible. They can withdraw the money anytime with two months notice and uh, they get a very high stable return monthly based on our projection of 8%. And Christine, we've talked a little bit about what we expect to happen in the private lending space for the year ahead. Um, what about for brokers who might not have much experience in it or who are looking to dip their toes in the water this year? Uh, what do you advise them to keep top of mind or is there anything that they should um, that they should be aware of? 
Yes, uh, for the new brokers, I think to to find some uh, good reputable private lenders that's very important, and to try to uh, try to learn all the compliance compliance issue. I think that's very important for private side. Lots of disclosures, lots of disclosure to the uh, to the borrower. That's very important, and um, um, really also. Uh, try to understand the uh, lender's requirement and try to find some reputable lenders. I think this this is very important. There's so many money right now in the market. A lot of people who are in the uh, private lending space uh, for themselves is just um, like like a first time. So they are learning the uh, market as well. And Christine, is there anything related specifically to fraud in the private lending space that new brokers need to be aware of? Yes, I think the fraudulent activities in the private lending space become a, a very uh, a prominent issue recently. Um, I think being a new broker in the space, first of all, you got to you got to know your borrowers. So you got to check the ID, check the identity, and see whether the borrower actually is real, because. The, the news about the, uh, the the homeowners who has no mortgages and later on have a uh, private mortgage put on their titles and being uh, losing lots of money. It just first of all the board that's very important, and also um, the for the property itself, right? The property itself, lots of homeowners they should have the uh, title insurance on the properties. Um, and also, you're working with the lawyers. You know who are doing diligent work to uh, try to uh, try to see if there's any issues uh, involved. So the lawyers, the uh, insurance company, and the borrowers very important. Being a new new uh, broker, do not get yourself involved in the potential fraudulent activities. That's very important to protect your own career and reputation as well. I was interested in something that you said at the start of the call uh, about possible measures that the government might bring in this year uh, in the private lending space. But in general, is there anything that you would like the federal government to address, either in private lending or, or the mortgage industry as a whole, that would make your life easier as a, as a broker? I think for government's role is more for government to governance, um, less interference. I think private lending space is just like any space, any uh, 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 business space, uh, governed by the uh, rule of business supply and demand. Before the like years ago, private lending is always uh, very expensive, and people will see the double-digit interest rate. But right now, some lenders, because so much money, they go as low as like three point something, four point something that's never heard of in the industry. So, it, it is uh, just like a regular uh, supply and demand uh, business. However, I think government's rule is more try to give more uh, uh, compliance uh, guidance. Um, in the space, like in all sectors uh, in the space for the lender side, I think lots of lenders that really uh, should be regulated. Um, they, they, should, they should have, first of all, they, they should know the market and they, they have to be a, uh, totally disclose uh, what's the cost and fees. And um, also in the, um, the uh, legal side, the lawyers, because actually, in the space, we can see there's so many fraudulent cases going on this uh, this past, especially past couple of years. Um, I think, and there's there's lawyers involved, insurance company involved. Actually, I'm very happy to see the new um, insurance changes by a uh, store title uh, just last week at the end of um, uh, January. They have implemented a new new a new rule for the private lending side for for the lenders. They are going to screen all the private lenders. I think that's very important. And uh, um, some lenders, they are not in this business. Probably they shouldn't be. And some also fraudulent activ activities going on, um, AML issues as well. It's very important. So I think the government's rule is give more uh, uh, guidance um, to the regulators and uh, to tighten up uh, the space in, 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 in terms of all, all, the, uh, all the compliance issues. But lots of times, government try to, in a good intention, try to uh, influence the market. I think that's the effects very minimal. That's it, the past example, like, I think even stress tests, like, spend so much time and money, but the uh, 
people they try to help for the uh, first time home home buyers like a first time home buyers policy also there's almost there's no effect in the market and those people who they want to protect actually they suffer more as a victim they couldn't even get a regular mortgage they have to go through a higher cost to get a mortgage so yeah government do not interfere in the market but try to <laughs> try to uh, governance the market try to uh, try to uh, make the uh, the uh, regulatory body uh, work as they're supposed to do. Well, my final question for you is on that mortgage market in general, Christine. Uh, we know that over the past couple of years, it's been a really mad camp and intense market. Are you expecting activity to stay constant throughout this year, or do you see any signs that there'll be uh, a drop off? Uh, the market will be very active. Uh, we can see that for the first month the, already, we're already. Uh, I can't believe it is already the second month in 2022. Yeah, we had a very busy month and uh, we don't see the market will, will, will be uh, slowing down. And uh, the good news is like a private market, become private mortgage become more mainstream. Like before it was just a last resort, uh, last resource for the for the borrower. But right now it's become more mainstream and people using private lender um, to uh, to help them to get more investment property. I think that's um, lots of times this really help people to uh, to uh, fulfill their uh, their homeowner homeowner stream. Okay, well, we'll be looking out for some of those trends that you mentioned in the year ahead. Christine, thanks so much again for joining us on the show today to share some of your insights. Thank you, Fulvio. Thanks to you for joining us at home. Stay tuned for more great content here at CMP in the near future, and we'll talk to you very soon.